Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Zudessia, where we are ready for our next Saturday special. I'm so excited. Today is going to be a very busy day. We are finally, after all the amazing adventures of working with our friends, going to be working on the shrine, I hope, today. We're going to do some adventures to gather up the obsidian that we need to start the ghost shrine that we're going to have in the bamboo forest, and I'm really excited. It means we're going to go mining for a little bit after, you know, we eat some of those delicious essence berries on the essence berry bush hiding behind us. Oh, they just look so yummy. And look at the cocoa beans, way far to the left there on our giant cocoa tree. Those look like they would be absolutely delicious right now too. And speaking of delicious, look at my mushrooms. Don't they look so yummy? I know they look yummy, little slug. You can't have any. Well, you can have a few. There's plenty to share. In fact, oh, what can I make with my mushrooms? I would love, love to cook something. I hate it with that turtle. That's what I have to say in frustration about the fact that I hit the wrong button again and now my too many items does this searchy weird thing. Ugh, I've been like bashing the keyboard to try to get it to stop. I totally forget how to do that. Um, ooh, mushroom risotto. Bacon mushroom burger. I could just use like fake bacon in there. Okay, mushroom stew. Oh, I have a lot of delicious mushroom stews just given to me in the mail by our wonderful friend Dino Dude Trizo. A uh, Triz? Triz. I always want to Triz. What the heck? I always want to say Dino Dude Z because I see I remember the Z on trees and I'm like, yeah, it's Dino Dude Z, you know? But let's see. So it looks like uh, stuffed mushrooms, grilled mushrooms. I do enjoy a good grilled mushroom. Mushroom risotto. What the heck? Uh, what the heck did it take to make? Ooh, rice. We haven't made something with the rice yet. I'll think about that. I've got a lot of things right now that I can eat otherwise, like the uh, soggy, somewhat soggy blueberry muffin, blueberry pancakes, I mean, that I still have. So we don't need to go and, whoops. Oh, hey, I didn't know I could just like left click. Come here, come here. Delicious, ouch, essence berry bush. Delicious, blah, delicious essence berries, there we go. But yes, so today is going to be kind of a resource gathering day. I just snagged that apple fresh off the tree. Don't mind me, just nibbling it. So first off, let's go ahead and put away what resources we have in our packs. We'll keep on the armor. Oh, we still need to put away our awesome presents. We've got some new javelins and we've got a new Lyplerodon skull. Also, go back up, go back up. Good morning, Bella. Okay, I feel better. Good morning, Persephone. How's your, your cat grass? Enjoying it? I'm very glad. Ooh, and we actually have enough levels to enchant another book. I really want to get some fire aspect books. Um, no, I want to get some fire protection books. I mean, not fire aspect. I thought fire protection would be in Tinkers, but I don't think it is. So I'm just going to have to... Oh, power three. Well, I'm sure that's a good one. I'm just going to have to keep making these books until I get some fire protection. I do have like level one fire protection, but I want to make another suit. Wouldn't that be so cool not to have to worry about the lava anymore? I would like that. Also, darling, he's been down studying pretty early. Darling, 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 darling. He's probably downstairs. He likes to wander around while reading his, his book. Hmm? Hmm? Well, we'll find him in a minute. I'm sure he's off somewhere. Do 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 do, gathering up my essence berries. They're so yummy. <gasps> Maybe we'll find more essence berries on today's adventure. But so I'm gonna try to like catch a lot of birds in the hand at once to kind of merge some sayings. Ooh, the glow shrooms and the poppies. Those are presents, and so are the foam flowers. All right, I'm gonna put our presents. That bowl is actually a present. So is this clover patch. This is gonna be all like a clover patch. Ooh, I'll take this clover patch. And these glow shrooms and these poppies, I'm going to take these, well, I'm, wait, I'm going to take the clover patch and two poppies and one glow shroom uh, over to our friendship garden. So I'm going to put that there so that we can put the presents that we have been given okay, good, by uh, Dino Dutris. In our mail yesterday on our side quest, we got some mail it arrived by meteor, which was unexpected. Um, but sometimes that happens. All right, we're gonna put that there. And then I need to check what's in my pack. Got, got some soggy blueberry pancakes I can snack on. Let's see, let's put these strawberries away. Let's put all this rice away. I'm gonna get these beet seeds out of my pack. Basically, we're taking a bunch of water and we're gonna go try to make some, some obsidian 
for our shrine, but we also need to collect. Oh yeah, and I need to put my book, my letter away, my book letter away. Let's see, right there. Wait, hang on. Um, let's put it right there. There we go. Oh, that's so awesome. We have presents from our friends. <gasps> Darling, hug. There you are. Okay, so he's doing fine. He was probably eating cookies in the kitchen. See, the door is open and everything. That's adorable. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Staple crops. That's where we'll put our rice. Rice is considered a staple crop for most of the world. I'm sure you guys know that, but just don't forget how important rice is as a crop for the majority of the planet, really. We're kind of in the minority eating wheat. And I'm going to stop eating wheat because I think it's making me sick. So, oh, and he's just flipping through his book. I love you too, darling. All right, let's go down here. But yes, so catching all of those birds in the hand at once. What do I mean by that? Well, we need obsidian for our shrine. We need obsidian to build our shrine for the ghost that we have caught from the bamboo curse. The bamboo forest ghost we need to put in the shrine. So I need obsidian to build uh, the shrine that I have in mind. And then we also need to make sure we find that spawner of skeletons so Mara can set up a skeleton spawner, which would be amazing and helpful for everybody on the server. So I gotta relocate that. And then we also need to gather aluminum so that we can build the undersea observatory after the shrine for Dr. Nami, which I think is gonna be amazing. So there's quite a bit to do. We don't have as much aluminum as I would like to have on hand. Um, as far as raw ores go, like we've got this got the gravel bit we've got let's see this whoa where is it all going who knows okay there we go aluminum ore aluminum ore aluminum gravel ore so we've got like a bit and then we've got a little bit over here let's see like two blocks and some ingots and some nuggets and ore berries so I don't feel like we have enough to really make an underwater base. And the aluminum is going to go along the bottom. And then it's going to be clear glass like this, this blue shade of clear glass, so the water doesn't run down it. The reason the water doesn't run down my tank is because I'm using a type of glass where that effect just doesn't happen. But you can still see through it, and I love it. So we're going to be doing that too. I'm really excited. But we need to gather up a lot of materials. I think we're about good. I need lots of torches. It has been donkey's years like broom tail has probably turned like three years old oh my gosh i love how shiny the butt of this firefly is you're doing a good job keep going my friend oh i really am willing to name some of these these fireflies if we come up with some cool names for the various fireflies i will name them i feel even the insects in our uh in our little community deserve some recognition i have no problem with naming them all right, so let's go ahead. Let's make lots of torches. I might as well just get some fresh ones. There we go. Get some there. Or some more wood. Ooh, there we go. That's what I need. So let's get some fresh torches. And I'm trying to think, let's take some ladders with us in case it's just easier to make ladders than to make a bunch of other stuff. And let's just keep the torches like this for now because that will also compact what we have on us since I'm missing several of my packs, which sucks because they, they died. They, they vanished. They were run off with, oh, and thank you so much to Kate. Kate Black suggested the name Feather Falling Forest, um, Feather Falling Pines or Feather Falling Pine Forest for that forest over there where I fell and lost all my stuff. And I loved it. I loved the irony of it. So I'm totally going to name that forest Feather Falling Pine Forest. Thank you guys so much for the names because it was, it was a little dramatic what went down there. All right, do I have enough food? I don't have enough food. Let's go inside. Good morning, yard chicken. I think you're stuck. You've been stuck for a long time. What do you think, Artemis? Should I have a should I have a kitchen chicken? Well, it would just go down downstairs and cause trouble, probably. All right, let's take some scrump diddly dumptious snacks with us. Boiled eggs are nice and full of protein. Probably a good thing to take down, and so is trail mix. We're gonna be efficient. We're gonna be like, yeah, we're taking refreshing drinks. Um, let's see. Let's take some apple juice. We don't need this much food, I think, but we'll have it just in case. There we go. See, I'm taking some nice, nutritious food. Hello, Batmoth. I really need to name Batmoth, too, like with a name tag. So if anything untold ever happens, we'll know. All right, so let's run off, you guys. And we are going to go find the skeleton spawner that Kath and I found eons ago. Most of you guys probably don't even know where that skeleton spawner is. So this is going to be very exciting. All right, and I'm going to put down... This is going to be... My lucky clover. Let's see, where am I going to tuck this so it's nice and safe? 
You know, we haven't really found a signature tree yet either that we could have in our garden for when we hit 500 episodes. So we're gonna have to think about what our signature tree is gonna be. Mm, let's move the glow shroom, but I like it. So here's like the poppies and I'm gonna move the poppy down one. There we go. And the clover patch. And I think I'm gonna put the glow shroom. I'm gonna sneak it like back there. Oh, I like it. So those are all presents from Dino Dude Triz, and I'm not gonna forget that because I'm very good at remembering where the various plants come from. Like our, our calf gave me this nutmeg tree right here, the spice tree of friendship. And then of course the calf cast cactus, the time shot roses, my, my birthday hibiscus. I can't believe it's almost time to put down another birthday hibiscus. It's time to put down more Nymphsia too, which is so exciting because the Nymphsia represent our community. <gasps> Look at our wonderful little memorial garden. I love how we constantly have more things added into it. Also, this area is super dark. I would get I would get so chided by Mara and Kaffers for how dark it is. So let's light this up a little bit. Oh, I'm stuck on the chair. There we go. And then I'm going to, um, I'll remember to put a lamp there later because that doesn't look so good. And a lamp there later too. I've got to be more more efficient and responsible about properly lighting up Zudesia. Because people are going to start visiting and I'll have zoo tours and we might set it up if we're lucky so that people can like visit the server on a spectator server or something like that. No idea if we're going to be able to pull that off or not, but if that happens, I don't want you guys just to be walking along and, and suddenly werewolves in your face. That's rude. Very rude of me. All right, here it is. Was that Yogi? I thought I heard a bear. Yogi! Yogi, are you down this hole? Again? I think we've we've found like past yogis and have expired past yogis down this hole. So let's see. This is where the skeleton spawner is, right next to the yogi bear enclosure. That is a draft. That is a draft located in this mine shaft. So we might escort come here, sir. Come here. I'm gonna escort you out of here. We'll escort the draft out. But if we keep going down. There's a creeper. Okay. Hello, sir. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Shoo, 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 shoo. All right. So there's a little creeper. We're going to come up here and light this up. But I'm pretty sure this is the way to the skeleton spawner. Not here, because we're going up right now. I just really need to... What the heck? I had no idea this whole giant cave was just, like, under my exhibits. Oh, my gosh. It just keeps going. See, this is security purposes. Ooh, there's some copper. We've got to check this place out, light it up. This is like security issues. Oh my gosh, I think this leads to the chasm. Does this for real lead to the chasm that's by Kaffer's place? This is huge. I had no idea there was a cave this large, like, in our area. Okay, let's gather up this ore while we're here. Hello, little ore. Hello. There we go. I should have brought Lily with me. Lily is now trained enough in the the ways of the puppy dog. We'll, we'll escort this zebra out of here so it's not stuck in here forever. Who knows how long the poor thing's been down here. All right, and I'm already hungry. See, that's why we, I guess, now I'm gonna eat a good egg before I eat the soggy pancakes. Oh my gosh, the eggs don't fill you up very much. <laughs> that's not true. Boiled eggs really fill you up. They're full of like protein and stuff. Eggs are very good for you. As long as you don't put, like, fudge knuckly stuff on top of them. All right, come here, little glow shroom. Come here. I gotcha. All right, and then let's come down through here. <gasps> Yay! And now I can gather up this iron ore. And we're going to keep investigating, because that's what today is about. Investigating, finding our way through. I could gather up this salt, too, because we actually need it. But yeah, so the animal news has been very interesting lately, you guys. One of the things I really want to talk about in the future that I just found out is that there has been uh, a pretty cool discovery of like 13 new species of an ancient crocodilians that were apparently like around Brazil. Hey, I pecked you guys down. No block lag here. No block lag here. I don't care if the server is in England. You're gonna, you're gonna be behave for me. There we go. See, you just gotta tell them who's boss. But yeah, so there's 13 new species and a mine shaft. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's an essence berry bush! We lucked out, you guys! Glory be, it's an essence berry bush, and it has vines to climb down to it. Wow, I didn't expect that. That was pretty cool. This is like a, oh, look, and it's a spider spawner. That's kind of like a two for one, isn't it? 
All right, well, let's pick this puppy up. And <gasps> we needed a spider spawner for string, didn't we? Oh dear, it's a cave spider spawner. Okay, let's, um, do I have uh, anything block it off? I'm just gonna gather that for now. And let's get some, some torches put on this puppy. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how long this spawner must have been going? No, 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 no. I don't have any milk on me. Go away. There we go. I mean, because we're always in this area. This is a main area. I wonder how much string is on the other side. Do you know how many amazing, like, safari nets we'd be able to make with this? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Chop, 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 chop. Do I have an axe on me, actually? This is fantastic. We found one of the spawners we needed and we weren't even looking for. No aluminum yet, though, but that's okay. Because this is, this is a pretty good find. I think Mara is going to be excited to know that we now have a zombie, spider, and a skeleton spawner all within pretty much the same area. We could probably even make a cute little mine shaft to connect them up. I should ask Mara if she wants to do that. That would be so fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying having Mara with us because she is a dear, sweet person. We've kind of been like... We knew each other on the internet since The Sims 2 days. So, oh, look, and we just found the aluminum we needed. Well, isn't that nifty difty? Nifty difty. Oh my gosh, and it's just a hall of string. I love it when this happens. But yeah, Mara and I have uh, just kind of known of each other since I did Sims 2 videos about two years ago. And I've known of her for a long time because she was a story writer uh, in the Sims 2 community who I followed and I really liked her work and her style. And then uh, when I started doing Minecraft, she got really into Minecraft and she got really into, like she watched Jessa and I make YouTube videos and she was like, hey, that's really cool. I want to try that out. And she's just taken to it and I was really excited. I was like, oh hey, I can share this with this person too. So I watch her videos and I love how sweet she is. Isn't she just the sweetest thing? And I love when she's like surprised or when she laughs. It's just so fun. So I love hanging out with her is the bottom line. And I really hope you guys are enjoying meeting my friend Mara. She's really cool. This is like just a block, just a wall. What the heck? The spider spawner is literally like in one of the weirdest locations. It's just kind of shoved in a corner here. But we now have a spider spawner. I should have brought signs. That would have been so cool to make some signs. Be like spider spawner this way. I mean, is this even connected to a mine shaft anywhere? Is it? It's just kind of like its own little tiny spot. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can plug this little water spot up. That was a lot of good string to gather. Excuse you, water. Oh, jeez, that's better. But yes, yeah, so. 13 new species of crocodilia. Not alive now. These are prehistoric crocodiles. But I really thought that was super cool to learn about because everyone in the articles I was reading was super excited because they were like, why are there so many species in the same area? And so they did some research. Come on, I need to get back up. This is not where the skelly spawner is. Is this like a lake or something? Oh my gosh. Help! Help! So much water! So much water from above! Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh, it's stopping, okay. Well, now I need more torches. But they were really curious as to why there were so many like different ancient species. And they did some research and they figured out that all of those species were there because of, pr of a proliferation of prey. So these crocodilian species from eons ago, from long into prehistory, uh, were, there were 13 different ones, like I keep saying again and again. Lucky number 13. Um, and you know what they ate? You know what prey they ate? Because they analyzed the fossil bed and they were like, okay, there must have been like a whole bunch of different animals here. And they didn't find any, like, they didn't find a whole bunch of different animals. They didn't find like massive amounts of animals at all. What they found was that there were a ton of species of mussel. So these 13 species of crocodiles, ancient, ancient prehistoric crocodiles, were feeding on mussels, like clams. <laughs> and there were just so many of them in the swamp area, and they probably ate other things too, but primarily their diet was clams. And they had really like small pebble-like teeth. Oh, I hear Mr. Uh, Mr. Zombie coming. But yeah, they had really small pebble-like teeth that they would grind the mussels with. So that really took me by surprise because when we think crocodiles, we think like ancient prehistoric predator. I mean, a crocodile 
You look into the eyes of a crocodile and you really feel like that's a predator. You know what I mean? And, oh, I wonder if there's going to be like another spawner. That would be so cool. Wouldn't that be awesome to go back to Mara and be like, Mara, I found like two spawners. I probably need to waypoint this puppy just so I don't lose it. Waypoint, add. Uh, I guess I'll call this um, Birch Forest Spiders. Like, it's kind of deep under this birch forest, so. All right, back on the trail. And hopefully I can get back up to where I'm supposed to be. But yeah, uh, it just, I think like, you know, ancient aliens, ancient, ancient aliens, what? Ancient crocodiles, and I'm thinking big giant snappers take down huge dinosaurs, pull them into the water and eat them. And these guys were eating like, like, um, they weren't, oh my gosh, sorry, it's distracting when I can hear all the, all of them coming for me, but I can't see them yet. And you get a little bit like, um, okay guys, any minute now, I know you're going to show up. Here, Zebra, you hide in there to be safe. Let's see, what else should I put in here? Here's a little glow cap. Let's put the apple juice and trail mix away for now. Um, aluminum ore, I'm going to keep the iron ore out. What else can I pick up? We've got some corn seeds, cold cakes. I don't really know what to do with. So I'm going to leave the rest of that there for now. I think that's a spawner. I hear baby noises. I hear multiple adult zombies. My gosh. We're, we're like excavating the local spawners, I guess. Oh, but yeah, so mussels. Clams. Basically, <laughs> by leave eating, by leave eating crocodiles, not the giant prehistoric predators that were like pulling dinosaurs into the water, but the giant prehistoric predators. Ooh, there's some, there's some ore berries that were uh, digging up mussels from the the mud and eating them. And I don't know why there would be like 13 different species, because you would assume they would evolved due to the pressures of trying to compete for food um and if you're all eating the same food i wonder why you would evolve that way but oh and there's a demon horse <laughs> i hear a demon horse too how interesting and this is like right under our home turf which is one of the reasons i kind of wanted to do this we should know what's in our home turf you know what i mean what resources are available to us like these beautiful oh look at that we found it you guys these beautiful ore berries have led me straight to where it sounds like we have another zombie spawner and I know Mara found one that was under calf's house so like next to the cave exhibits so we might turn the one oh dear it's open um we're gonna go this way <laughs> maybe I should block this off just a little bit there we go, just in case. <laughs> Alright, and then let's uh, let's wiggle our way up safely, if possible. And we can turn the one in the cave exhibit maybe into like, like just a viewing chamber where you can go in and kind of view the zombies. That would be so cool. Just leave the spawner there. I like that idea. I'll talk to Mara about it. Because she's familiar with doing, doing the spawnery thing and I am not. I've made like one spawner my whole Minecraft career. All right, not here. Wait, hello! Are any of you villager zombies? I'd be very pleased to meet villager zombies. Pardon me, pardon me. Let's uh, expand this section just a little bit so we can get safely in and out. <gasps> we are almost under our territory. What place is that that I'm closing in on? That's the Chocobo stable, I think. Yeah, we're getting to the Chocobo stable. So there's some zombies chilling out under the Chocobo stable. Well, pretty far from the Chocobo stable, to be honest. Oh, look, they have a mushroom growing on their little zombie spawner. I like it, you guys. They're mushroom farming zombies. Hi, Bubbles. Look at them do like a little zombie, zombie conga or something. That's adorable. All right, let's see. Are you guys closed off? I don't think they know how to get out. Where's your Where's your chest, Bubbles? I want your loot. Do you have any loot? Or did you lose your loot? Are you fresh out of loot? That's so hilarious. I love watching him just follow me. Hey, y'all. 
They are mushroom growing zombies. Look. They've got all those mushrooms in there on top of their spawner and next to their spawner. I love it. Oh, you guys are so cool. I gotta make sure that you stay in where you belong, though. Alright, let me keep going this way. And then I'm gonna block your little area off, okay? Because it's kind of open up right now. Alright, let's see. Let's put this uh, right there. And then I'm gonna be like, bonk, 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 bonk. Did that block him off? Zombie conga, zombie conga. Da 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 da. Yay! We found another spawner. The mushroom growing zombies. I love it. Add. Okay, I'm gonna make it a nice mushroomy color. Do 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 do. And there was also a panda. I think I told you guys. Yeah, I told you guys about that. The panda that crossed the road in the middle of the night. Mushroom growing zombies. I'll have to show this to her later too, because this is so cool. Hey y'all! They're so cute. Alright, so back to getting to the- we found a spider spawner and a, a zombie spawner. And now it is time to go find the skeleton spawner that we started this entire journey for. Also any aluminum that we can run across. It looks like aluminum ore berries are going to be 100% the easier way of collecting aluminum. So Dr. Nami's underwater lab might have to grow in increments as we get more aluminum. So that's kind of really interesting. We'll have to figure out a very efficient way to farm them from the ore berries and maybe even set up a official ore berry garden. Because right now I've just been kind of like haphazardly decorating with them. But if Dr. Nami needs the ore berries to be properly harvested, like in a very economical way, so that we can max out our aluminum production and expand his super duper awesome... Let's get this sand... This uh, sand? What? This salt whilst I am here. Oh, and we also need to get obsidian too, huh? I gotta focus. I just get so excited. It's like I haven't been caving in so long. It's really nice. But yeah, Dr. Nami is gonna need us to be able to expand our aluminum production since we need to make his underwater laboratory for him and Mandy are gonna work in there and we'll make it bigger and bigger. And like, I wanna do underwater domes, which I think would look really cool. And it's going to take a long time to make that much of the clear glass, too. So I need to come up with a more efficient way to make the clear glass. So we might have to, like, start building actual factory sort of things. Um, I know Calf would be the guy to talk to about that. Eh, there we go. I think I've already been down here. Bye-bye, zombies! I'll be back later with Mara. We might turn you into dog food. It's not personal. I do love how they grow mushrooms, though. They do enchant my heart a little bit. It would be kind of cute to, like, just stick some mushrooms in there. Ugh. And let the mushrooms grow, and then go pick them, and then we could name them, like, special... M m like, zombie-grown mushrooms or something like that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look, 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 look! We found the cavern! <laughs> We are walking, like, straight across the cavern just there. I can't believe that. The one that, that I built Kaffir's bridge over. So we're actually almost to Kaffir's house from, like, my front yard. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What the heck? Wow! It's a huge cave. And it just, like, opens up into the mine shaft again. I didn't expect this kind of adventure, to be honest. This is- I heard a little bit of lava. We need to- Oh, hi! Hey, yo! Creeper! I should have, like, some sort of festival. We need to host a festival soon. What kind of cool festival should we have, guys? Because spring is coming. Should we just have, like, a spring festival? A spring flower festival? And invite everybody on the server? That would be really cool. I would love a spring flower festival. And I'm gathering up these mine carts. Or these mine- Ugh. Mine carts. I'm gathering up these rails because I do like that idea that we had about making uh, a railway connection between all of the different locations so that we can just like jump on a rail track and maybe even maybe even use the train system set up the little train system and just like hit a button and be like take me to the spider spawner and the little thing just goes okay chicka 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 choo choo and takes you to the spider spawner so that would be really cool all right, got that. I really don't need that steel pickaxe we picked up, but it's there now. All right, so this takes us into the bottom of the cavern. Like, perfectly. 
Is that not the most surreal thing? Hello, everybody who's trapped down here. I am now one with you. Uh, what is this? Is this just a light glitch? It is. So that may not have been a demon horse I heard. That may have just been the horse that's like stuck down here. Ooh, aluminum. We need that. Sorry. Sorry, cavern. I need this. There we go. I try not to mess up the caverns because I think they look really cool. I do, however, need this as well. See, there's Kaffir's Bridge. I can't believe we've managed to loop all the way to Kaffir's Bridge. And it is night. That makes me slightly bit nervous to be down here. Um, wow, there's... Oh, it's an ant with an egg! My favorite! I love that. I love that. People have started sending me pictures of ants with eggs uh, on my Facebook and Twitter. And it just makes me giggle because it makes me so happy. There's some more copper. Okay, this is this is where I like was putting things down and didn't notice that this was just right to the outside. Ooh, there's a bunch of ore here too. You never know when you might need more iron ore. In fact, we could probably build Dr. Nami's base faster if I was doing the base out of iron ore instead of aluminum, but I got aluminum, aluminum in my head. But yeah, actually, I do like the idea of having those zombies like just putting uh, mushrooms in there and letting the mushrooms spread naturally and then going and harvesting them and selling them as like exotic zombie produced mushrooms actually you know what that doesn't sound that appetizing does it it's like these mushrooms are produced by zombies it sounds like you put the mushrooms on the zombies and then like you're eating them from wow this is cute hey y'all double double chest double chest i like it okay let's just go ahead Make sure we're good over here. All right, we're good. Gather up the iron ore. And I still am going completely the opposite direction of the skeleton spawner, but we'll get there eventually, don't worry. We're finding all these bonuses too. I wonder what's inside the chest. Maybe it will finally be more lettuce seeds. I need more lettuce seeds, which sounds weird, but like there's two types of lettuce seeds you can get in this world. And one of them is only something you can gather. Let's see, let's put this away and these away. Like these corn seeds, they're only stuff you can gather as loot from chests. So those amounts of seeds are, they're plant mega pack seeds from the 1.6.4 version. So they're like limited. Oh, lapis, wow, look at all these chest carts, work carts, cucumber seeds, beet seeds. That's cool. Let's put all these away. There you go, lapis lazuli, some of that. Uh, the coal can stay out here. That's pretty neat. Come on, come on out, beet seeds. I've got spinach seeds, onion seeds, beet seeds, corn seeds, lettuce seeds? Nope, just more onion seeds. That's fine. And there's some wooden ties. All right, whoops, nope, come back here, track. You're not full yet. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Just double double treasure chest right there. Uh, we might go up in a second. Oh, that's kind of like creepy down here. I kind of like it. Like, what could be down here? It looks like a mystery. And it is actually taking us back in the right direction, so... <laughs> We'll go back this direction. Kind of light things up. Hello. Actually, I don't want something to answer me. So when I say hello, I'm I'm very happy if nothing answers. <laughs> ah! Ooh! I dug up. <laughs> Lesson in not digging up. But yeah, I would love to host a festival pretty soon. And flower festival in the village of light sounds like a very plausible idea. Um, that's normally when we breed the villagers, and I could disperse the villagers. Name, we could name them and then start dispersing them. Dispersing even, dispersing. That sounds like dissecting them. <laughs> that sounds scary. Poor villagers. If I was a villager and someone's like, let me disperse you, I would run for it. I'd be like, oh, oh, weird people, what do they want with me? This mine shaft is actually, ooh, here we go again. Ooh, found some aluminum ore. It's not very far to the bottom, so worst to worst, we'd be okay. This part of the chasm is underground. Oh, that's because it closes off over at that point. It's so weird to see the, the common landmarks that we have walked by time and time again transformed underground. It's a fun way to remember that there's always more than what you see on the surface. To people, to books, to dirt. <laughs> But yeah, I think a flower festival sounds really cool and springy and it, I, I am ready to like go outside with flowers in my hair and do a freaking spring dance. Can you do a dance to bring on spring faster? Can I like sacrifice a bunch of carrots to a groundhog and make them 
like change the weather to spring because I'm so done with this winter stuff. It was so pretty the other day and now, now it's just all dreary. It's even been raining so much in Zudesia. I can't even escape here to Zudesia and have it, have it be all green and pretty. All right, let's go down here and go down here and go down here. Did I get the aluminum that I was there for? Yeah, I did. All right, gather this up. It would be fun to make a cute little like rail station thing. All right, gather this up. Come here, what's this? This is different. Tin ore, huh? Well, I don't see you very often, so come here, tin ore. There we go. Boink. Okay, doing good, doing good. Lots and lots of string means lots and lots of safari nuts. Oh, we need to get back home so we can open up uh, our mystery safari nut of the day, too. Because it's Saturday special. And at the end of Saturday specials, we've started a new little tradition. Where we crack open the mystery safari nuts. <gasps> Mushrooms! I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about the mushroom, uh, the, the zombie-grown mushrooms. On the one hand, I personally think it's a fantastic, amazing idea and would love to encourage um, zombies to try to break through their natural hostility and, you know, grow mushrooms for a living instead. I think that would be really fun. But on the other hand, it also sounds like kind of gross. <laughs> like I said, it sounds like you grew the mushrooms on the zombies. So, we'll have to think about it. Just, let's see, four tin ore and a minecart. Mm, the minecart's working more. Mm, that one really had me on the fence. Come here. Come here. That's like worth two, two normal ones. Alright. So we might come back down here and explore this some more. But for now, we need to work our way back towards home. I might have to dig an emergency hole back up. Do, 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 do. Because I think by now, we're just kind of lost. Alright. Doink. Ooh, yep, dead end. Dead end in the chasm. So let's head back up. Let's put a ladder in the chasm. And let's go back down. We found two other spawners, which is fantastic. And I think Mara will be happy to know that I've located them so close. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to make the, the zombie spawner I found into a grinder or like a mushroom farm. I'm leaning on the mushroom farm. What do you guys think? Because you can make any old zombie spawner into a grinder for the undead, in which, you know, you're apologetically killing all of them. Well, I would be apologetic about it. Because, well, I mean, I guess they're already dead, so I don't know. <gasps> Another essence berry bush! Happy days! Oh, that's fantastic. I always get so excited when we find those, because it means we can make more enchanted books. We're going to have to open up a proper library at this rate. Come here. Come. Okay, that's the horse that's outside. So I think I'm getting closer to the outside. Oh, there's some gravel falling on my head again. Gotta stop doing that. Okay, pretty sure. Hey, this is looking familiar, actually. I'm pretty sure this is the way, like, back home. Oh, maybe we don't need to go out of the chasm. All right, get this, get this, get this. This is a successful ore gathering trip, a successful cobweb gathering trip. It is not yet a successful obsidian collecting trip though. But I came this way knowing that uh, where the skeleton spawner is, there's lava because the dogs were fighting the skeletons and like getting burned up in lava. And we had to destroy one of the lava blocks, but there was a lot more lava, huh? Like, on the way down there? Come here, come here, bone pile. I need to make some silk touch picks that, like, people who want to dig up bone piles can, like, dig them up without breaking them. Because the bone piles are just such a fun decorative touch. Ooh, I should start building- oh, what's this? Ayo? Ooh, aluminum. I should start building just some decorative piles of, of, like, rocks and bones here and there. And it would also be, I think, a good idea... Come here. Oh my gosh, there's so much of this stuff. It would also be a really good idea to um, start putting more decorations around that's more than just like gardens and things. Yeah, this is where I block the water off, so keep going. And there's the spider spawner. So I need to go back up here, I think. And then I can get back to like where my skeleton spawners and everything are. Uh, there we go. Did I come out here? Did I come in here? Okay, I just like led myself into a little hole, so this is not where we were. Let's try again. 
Okay, so this is the water. I had to block it off. And then this way... One of these directions is going to take us back towards where we came out. Alright, time to get out moss leaf. Or moss leaf? What? Mole fingers. Nope, I meant moss slugger. Come here, moss slugger! <laughs> we're getting out the big guns now, guys, and we're headed home. Doink. 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 I hope this works. This would be an excellent way to actually excavate for um, making the little train. Oh, wouldn't that be so fun? And you know what? I think we're going to keep those zombies. We're going to keep them and we're going to like train them to grow mushrooms. And we can give them like funky names and maybe even expand their, their spawning area so they can just like wander around. We could light it up so like not many more spawn or just a few at a time. And then we can just have it turn into a mushroom farm. I love it. I love it. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna make it like a little mushroom growing zombie colony. And now I think we're good and truly lost underground. <laughs> Where am I? Why am I doing this? I need to head which direction? Straight? I don't know where I'm going anymore. No, I need to go this way, I think. Towards where Yogi is? That's the friendship garden. Okay, let's go this way. We should we should go get some sort of result at some point. I can't hear anything. No growling of monsters. No lava. What level are we on? Drink. Oh, we're really high. Jeez. Maybe I need to be a little lower? Oh my. Why hello? Okay, well that did something. Downward moss slugger! Because I know there's like this big giant cave system with lots of stuff in it. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is exactly where we found the, the zebra. That's amazing. We did a perfect like loop. That's really cool. All right, so down here, ouch. Okay, that's this is what we brought ladders for because I had a, I had like a vague memory of there being spots where you just kind of like tumble down all right down here is where i think we had pretty darn sure we found the skeleton spawner there's a bunch of water <gasps> lava oh we've been down here before too look we were chiseling away at it okay let's peck this away this way and we're gonna make some obsidian very carefully and then harvest it up, because we need it. Ooh, and there's stuff on the other side. We need it for our wonderful shrine that we're going to be building. So let's get all of the useful stuff out of the way. Let's throw out the stone into the lava while we, while we can. All right, cucumber seeds in there, aluminum ore, bone pile, essence. I really hope nothing comes up behind me like right now and pushes me in. Ice, out you go. Um, as much as I want to keep these slagtites and slagmites, we have a bigger thing to work on right now. Alright, let's climb up so I don't get pushed in. Ta-da! Yay! I forgot I didn't need to bring like a bazillion of the water. I just needed to bring a couple. Are you going to break soon? I think it'll break soon. Oh, man. You know what? I forgot what a pain in the butt collecting obsidian can be. So I'm probably going to just like come to this spot again and do it on my own time because I forgot you have to sit there and you just have to like grind it. Alright, so this is clearly not the spot where, ooh, there's some gold here though. The skeleton spawner is, but I know we're nearby. So we'll find this spot. Yep. I like it. I like it, you guys. We're going to have a mushroom farm that the zombies are going to help us grow. Uh, they can be more rehabilitating creatures, you know. We're gonna have a rehabilitating creeper helping us out with our garden. I think we can definitely include in our hearts room for some, ah, I found it! This is it, this is it you guys. This is where we had to block up the lava. And this is where like, we like freaked out and we're throwing water everywhere. Oh, the memories. And right here is where the skelly spawner is. Ta-da! We raided all the good loot ages ago, ta-da! And we lit that place up ages ago, ta-da! Oh, we, we missed the, the gold, what the heck? How do we just, like, ignore the fact that there's a bunch of gold right here? 
my gosh. So embarrassing. Alright, let's light this up to make sure nothing decides to try to sneak on up on us from the other side. And this has been a pretty darn successful trip. We ended up with a lot of things I didn't expect, like a ton of string, two extra spawners, and a little bit of aluminum. So I think we are going to have to build a proper aluminum yard, but here's our skeleton spawner. I remember like I wanted to turn this into a little garden where you could like watch the skeletons, but having a lot of bone meal closer at hand would be nice too. Come here, come here cobwebs. So let's figure out an easier way to get in here and out of here so that we can point that out to Mara. I shouldn't have thrown away all of that, that stone actually, because let's see, um, there we go. So let's see, was it up here is the exit? Yes, maybe? I'm gonna have to make some signs. And then this way, this way leads to the exit that I had to make because I got lost and it pops up out under the friendship garden. So let's try this again. <gasps> There's like emerald right there. Come to me. Come to me, you beautiful thing, you. Oh my gosh, emerald ore. I love emerald ore. All right, back up here. All right, we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna find our way out. Okay, not this way. Oh my gosh, I thought I was walking in lava when I stepped on that torch. It scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, um, I remember the rushing water. I'm gonna leave the ladders where I have a good gut feeling we need to go. So that way to the skeleton spawner. Uh, I don't think this way. Oh, look at the fog. Looks so cool. Did I fall through there? I don't think so, and there's the skelly spawner. I'm beginning to recall why I dug my way out. Because <laughs> I kept getting lost trying to get back out here. Okay, and then... Is this it? Like, we walk down here? No, this is a bunch of lava. That's where Calf was excavating a little bit. It's kind of funny to stumble upon, like, Calf's old mine shafts and be like, uh-huh. You could just look and know that, yeah, this was one of his. <laughs> Alright, let's try coming over here. What if I go this way? If I go this way... Leading Mara in here would be like leading someone down a maze. Because I'm lost again. This is why I dug my way out. So! Huh. Huh. That did not take long for me to get completely turned around. Not gonna lie, kind of embarrassing. Blushing. When you do stuff uh, like that and everyone can see it, you just kind of like get really red in the face. But I'm gonna find my way out and then we will celebrate by opening up those safari nets after we make new safari nets, which we can now do. And in fact, I'm just gonna have to take the cheap way out for now. Here we go. <laughs> up the tunnel after I eat some of my, my boiled eggs. We'll go up the tunnel that I built and then I'll have to do this again, this time with signs. I'll bring signs and then I won't get lost. And then Mara and I can find the skeleton spawner. And now we know where the mushroom growing zombies are going to be. So I can start a zombie farm, or a zombie farm, a mushroom farm there. And that sounds really cool actually, like truffles. Grown by your local zombies. All right, let's see. Can I get out of here? I can. I hope I'm not wrecking our garden. This is our garden exit now. Hello, garden. <laughs> I did it. I'm out. Hey, little moth, moth. And there. All right, we're out, you guys. We made it. We're free. Also, let's gather up these avocados to sell in town. They're very useful. They are worth many, many a coin. Delicious, fresh avocado. Yay! All right, let's go home. Let's make some nice little safari nuts and then let us open those mystery safari nuts open, like up, and then I will go and harvest that obsidian in my own time because that's going to take a while. And I'll get started on the shrine because that's also going to take a while. I'm a slow builder. And I will see you guys for our Saturday special or our Saturday side quest if I can think one up because there's always so much to do in the zoo. Or... 
I will see you guys bright and early in the morning tomorrow. So thank you, by the way, for so many suggestions and likes for Calf's tree on the episode yesterday. We are going to definitely be able to plant at least a few trees by now. Thank you so much for your support on that. I'm going to come up with more ways that you guys can like leave likes and those kinds of things. And it translate, dr translates directly into building things here in the park. So hello, darling. He's welcoming me home. And all right, let's come in. Let's wrap this up. Major Calhoun, I think it's hilarious. You're on a chest now. I don't know how you got up there because you were not standing like that. I really don't know how she got there. That's kind of interesting. All right, and we're going to make, yay, string. We brought home so much string. Let's make a whole bunch of safari nets. Hey, get over there. We need four to put our new animals in. So let's put four down and then I can make a couple more. Ta -da! And now we have some empty ones right there for backup. Yay! Also, I have so many raw ores to like put away. Yay, a little bit there. Shiny gems, little emerald. I love collecting the raw ores. It's just, oh, there's something about the way they look when they're still in raw form that I enjoy quite a bit. All right, then let's come out here. And before the dogs freak out, let's see, I need to get the, and we're gonna have backup. Um, gonna keep, uh, let's see, there and there and there and there. Gonna keep my sword just in case something goes awry. And I know I've got the safari nuts in here. So we will open a mystery and then catch it. Open a mystery and then catch it. So outside we go. Hello, my loves. Good pup pups. And then mystery, chicken. You're good, chicken. Mystery, squid. Quick squid, get in here. Yay, we have another squid. Squid are actually very rare for our, our land. We don't find many squid, which sounds odd, but it's true. All right, mystery, pig. Mystery, pig. Really? Yeah? Okay. <sighs> well, at least we got a squid. That's a, that's a plus side. And we found tons of stuff and spawners, and it was basically a pretty amazing day. So thank you so much, guys. We came up with some amazing ideas. I can't wait. Mushrooms grown by zombies. Mushrooms grown by zombies. They were definitely a conga line dancing pretty peaceful um, mushroom and vine growing zombie crew. So I'll be excited to turn their little area into like a tiny little mushroom farm and be able to ride my little train track underground over to them and collect from them and then go and collect from the spiders and it'll just work out wonderfully. No pig, thank you. All right, all right, Major Calhoun, I will see you guys bright and early in the morning or for our next side quest and for many, many more adventures here in the zoo. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.